Just doing a quick video for the Pocket Wizard Power MC2 units. These are the radio receivers made by Pocket Wizard exclusively for the Policy Buff Einstein 640s. Uh, these fit on top of the Einstein units. There's a docking or a little port on the top where the uh, Pocket Wizard Power MC2 fits directly into. Uh, traditionally, most people are familiar with the Pocket Wizard Plus 2 trans uh, transceivers. Uh, these are pretty much the standard um, for the industry universally accepted. Most people use Pocket Wizards. Granted, there are other uh, there are other radio uh, triggers out there, but the Pocket Wizards are probably the most popular. Uh, traditionally, most people will use the uh, mono sync cables to plug in a radio transceiver or receiver into their studio strobes, as you see here. Um, then they'll usually don have a dongle or some sort of a cord or velcro to hold these to the studio strobe. Um, other people are familiar with the Flex TT5 series also, made by Pocket Wizard, plugs in the same manner through the mono sync cable. But with the introduction of the Power MC2, we now have an option to avoid mono sync cables and get the uh, 30 plus channels that are available with the uh, new advanced uh, Pocket Wizard software. Anyway, here we have the uh, Power MC2, just unplug the rubber protector over the port or over the pins, drop it directly on top of the Einstein, plug it in. I'm going to go ahead and power up the Einstein. As you can see, I'm running version 2.6 of the Einstein software. Uh, at this time, that's currently the most <clears throat> most recent update of the Einstein firmware, and I believe you do need that version of the firmware to run the Power MC2s. Anyway, as you can see from the back panel of the Einstein strobe, we now have access to configure or set the channels for the Pack Wizard Power MC2 from here. Uh, as you can see, channel 24. These are the standard channels available for um, with the Pocket Wizard receivers, transceivers. Uh, note you can go channel 1 all the way up to 32 on the standard channels. And you also have access to the Control TL channels. Control TL is the uh, advanced Pocket Wizard uh, frequencies where they can transmit the various, uh, I guess, communications to enable certain features such as um, hypersync, which is supposed to allow the strobes to fire off beyond the max sync speed of your camera, um, typically 1 200th or 1 250th of a second. Uh, without any banning. Unfortunately, I did have a chance to test it this morning um, with my Canon 5D Mark II, and I was unable to use this Einstein strobes on the Control TL channels with my uh, Mini TT1 without um, any sort of banding beyond 1 320th of a second. So after 1 320th of a second, I was getting some banding in the, uh, in the frame. Note that I didn't have a time to uh, adjust or uh, adjust the HSS or hypersync technology for my camera because I believe you are supposed to uh, calibrate it um, for your camera and your strobes. Uh, maybe I'll take the time to do that sometime, but I really don't use studio strobes beyond max sync speed. I do. I have tried my uh, Canon speed lights, my 580 EX2s, with the uh, Flex TT5 series, and I can get those to work fine to one eight thousandth of a second without any banding. Uh, that said, you do have access to all the channels from the back of the L Einstein's uh, LCD panel to configure the channels. I use channel 24 myself for some of my stuff, or I'll adjust if I need to. But you also have access to the zones um, to configure the zone for the back panel as well. Note there's zone Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. This is to be used in conjunction with the Packet Wizard uh, AC3 zone controllers. Uh, that allows you to assign various uh, strobes to different zones so in the event that you want to remotely adjust specific zones or turn them off you can do those remotely from your camera without actually walking to your uh, strobes to power them adjust their powers individually so let's say I wanted to set one strobe to alpha have a, and I'll have another Einstein set to zone bravo I can run ratio lighting if I wanted to adjust the lights without straight from my camera with the AC3. Currently don't have the AC3 uh, in hand. I am waiting for that to come in from Amazon. I finally ordered the AC3 because I now 
uh, started using, or I have, I bought the PowerMC2, so I figure I'll start using the uh, ability to remotely control the uh, power settings of the strobes uh, more often now. That said, uh, seems to work fine with the Mini TT1. TT1 triggers off the uh, strobe like it should. Have done any range tests, so I don't know if there's any issues as far as uh, being far away from the uh, strobe and firing off the uh, or triggering the lights. There were some problems initially with Einstein's and Pocket Wizards, but uh, they've resolved those issues according to Paul C. Buff and all the beta testers. Uh, personally, I haven't had any problems with my Flex TT5, so I've always been using the Flex TT5s on the uh, strobes before the Power MC2s came out. I had no problems at range. I don't anticipate I'll have any problems with the Power MC2s. Uh, hopefully, I'll have uh, time this weekend to put these through their paces and give you more real life feedback as far as the Power MC2s.